hello welcome back my dear students so here is the video to understand how to draw the images when the object is kept in front of a concave mirror concave mirror is a converging mirror so for this there are six different positions where we can keep the object in front of this for this first well we'll we will keep the object at infinity that means the object is uh, too far from the mirror this we will first draw the principal axis then with the help of a compass or a d we will draw this curve which will shows which will show us the concave mirror or converging mirror inner side is reflecting and outer side is polished from here we will measure 3 cm and we will mark f further 3 cm we will mark c that is center of curvature and f we know that is the focus of the mirror then the object is at infinity then the parallel rays they come from infinity so we will draw the parallel rays falling on this mirror this is the incident ray falling on the mirror it will pass through focus that was the first rule we did that any parallel ray, parallel ray passing through the principal axis it will pass through focus so this is the first ray second parallel ray to the principal axis because from infinity we get the parallel rays from any object it will also pass through focus so this is the reflected ray since both the rays they are meeting at a common point which is called focus that means uh, the image it is formed at focus so what are the characteristic first we have to write down the position of the image so the position of the image is that it is formed at focus of the mirror when the object is at infinity the image is at focus the second characteristic is that the image will be real and inverted because it is formed by the real intersection of the rays the third characteristic of this will be that the image we can see it's a point size image so we have to write down the size we will write down it is a point size image which is formed at focus or we can also write it as that it is highly diminished image which is formed at the focus next when the object is kept beyond c beyond c means behind the center of curvature so we will first draw the object let's again principal axis first draw the concave mirror polished surface this is p that is pole of the mirror then 3 cm mark focus 3 cm further mark center of curvature then further near about 1 cm away we will draw one object a line object right remember not to make this arrow because otherwise there will be a mistake in your uh, diagram there there is tendency that you will uh, do a mistake in your diagram so this is the object then one ray will go parallel it has to pass through focus so this is the reflected ray then another will pass through focus this was the second rule we did for the image formation you can see the other video for uh, how to draw the rules for image formation so passing through the focus after reflection after bouncing back from the mirror it will go parallel to the principal axis so this is parallel to the principal axis the rays green and red uh, blue rays which i have formed they are meeting over here so here i will be drawing the image falling from the principal axis now we can draw the arrow this object label it as a b so the image will be labeled as a dash b dash the so characteristics of the image the first one is position where it is formed this image is formed between c and f so we will write down the image is formed between center of curvature and focus the second that is uh, it is real 
as you can say uh, see over here also it is inverted so it is real and inverted as it is formed by the real intersection of the rays third the size of the image if you compare these two sizes we can see that this is smaller than the object so we will write down that the image is diminished let's draw the third one the third position of the object when it is when it is kept at c that is center of curvature so we will draw the principal axis curved mirror pole this is uh, the concave mirror pole 3 cm focus 3 cm for the center of curvature at center of curvature we will draw one object then a ray will go parallel it will pass through focus it is passing through the focus the second it will pass through focus and it will go parallel so as you can see that they are meeting just below c so we will draw the image also like this now draw the arrows this will be a b this will be a dash b dash don't forget to put the arrows yes where is the image formed the image it is formed at center of curvature so when the object is at center of curvature the image is also formed at center of curvature it is again it is real and inverted and the third one that it is of the we can say that they are of equal sizes so it is of the same size so this particular diagram has special features that the object is of uh, object and image both are formed at at the uh, center of curvature as well as they are of the same size now next when the object is kept between c and f principal axis curved mirror pole 3 cm f 3 cm c and f so we will draw an object between c and f right don't put it near uh, uh, more towards f keep it a little more shifted more towards c it will give you a better result right so here one ray will go parallel it will pass through focus arrows and then the second ray will pass through focus and it will go parallel they are meeting over here so we will draw the final image draw the arrows mark it a b and this one as a dash b dash now where is the image formed the image it is formed beyond c so we will write down beyond center of curvature what is it this is the nature the real and inverted nature third the size of the image it is we can see the image it is bigger so we can write down enlarged right so let's do the fifth one when the object is kept at focus principal axis then curved mirror 3 cm f 3 cm c so we will draw the object one ray will go parallel it will pass through focus
and in this case since we can't draw the second ray passing through focus so we will draw the ray passing through center of curvature so join this point and this point and extend it to the mirror like this so this ray it is bounced back on the same path because it is passing through the center of curvature now we can draw the object this is a and this is b position since these rays are parallel rays so where do they meet they will meet at infinity so where is the image formed the image would be forming at infinity and it would be real and inverted since it is meeting quite far away from here so we can see as it is going away from principal axis the size will be highly enlarged so last when the object is kept between f and p principal axis curved mirror pole 3 cm f 3 cm center of curvature between f and p we will keep it over here this is the object one ray will go straight parallel to the principal axis it will pass through focus second it will pass through center of curvature like this it will be bounced back on the same path now we can see these are diverging rays so they will they can't meet ahead so they will be meeting behind so we will extend it behind the mirror with the help of dotted lines again this ray so they are meeting somewhere here so we will draw the image a b and this is a dash b dash so now where is the image formed it is not forming in front of mirror it is forming behind the mirror so we will write down the position of the image is behind the mirror and since it is forming by dotted lines that means virtual intersection of the rays so the image is not real inverted the nature of the image in this case it is virtual and erect third what is the size as we can see it is enlarged so that means in all the six position only in this last position the image is virtual and erect remaining all of them were real and inverted do practice all these image formation by checking the video and wait for the next video where we will understand how to draw the image when the object is kept in front of a diverging mirror that is a convex mirror thanks for watching students